Next up tonight is a Welsh singer whose audition left his proud mum in floods of tears. Now he's back for a massive semi-final and there's one thing he desperately needs for tonight's performance. Lots of tissues for his mum. Yeah. She's going to be a mess. It's Travis George. Here we go. I'm Travis, I'm 22, and I'm a singer from South Wales. Ever since you were little, I've known you were going to be a performer. But you were your own worst enemy. You didn't believe in yourself. Here we, go. we all believed in you. We've always believed yeah. in you. My family have always been so supportive, but confidence was always something that I struggled with. And singing was my coping mechanism. This is where the adventure begins. I first started singing when I was 14, and I joined my grandfather's uh, male voice choir. The sound difference to our choir, having a younger voice amongst the old crackly folks, like, you know, <laughs> it was quite incredible, you know. It was in your bones, it's in your blood. The day I auditioned for Britain's Got Talent is all a complete blur. Have you done anything like this before? <laughs> you looked absolutely petrified, but you went from being Travis to being the singing Travis. <laughs> The ability to perform, whether it's West End, whether it's Hollywood, it's all I've ever wanted. Tonight, I have to be ready. Despite the fears, I have to go out there, show everybody that I am worthy of this. This is where the adventure begins. incredible moment and we could all feel how much this moment means to you and I'm actually pleasantly surprised by your song choice tonight I think you played it really subtle and understated I thought you were gonna come out all guns blazing and actually it was really gentle and beautiful and you controlled it so so well and I'm thrilled for you and happy for you that you've got this moment because I know how much this means to you my darling so well done Yeah, Travis.
Travis, I couldn't agree more. The control and the depth of your voice and hitting those high notes. I think, for me, if you go through to the final, I want all of you. Do you know what I mean? I want the fire and I want the passion and I want all of it. I heard a member of your family shout, I love you, my boy. I love you, my boy, too. You're amazing. your audition. Um, for me, I'm going to be honest with you, that was playing it too safe. I thought it was too obvious. <laughs> and you've got a great voice. And I like you a lot. Thank I you. just felt, yeah, of course it's going to be this. And I, I don't know why, I thought there was going to be an extra 10, 20% at the end. I genuinely did, and I didn't feel it. Obviously, the audience are disagreeing with me, uh, but I, I don't know. I, I'm being... I just wish I'd loved that more. Okay. <laughs> we always, of course, we know you're a belter, and we, I was expecting a big belting song, but in fact, it's much more difficult to control the pianissimo and going for pianissimo head voice to the huge note. That is much harder than coming out and getting it! From, it really, you've done it extremely well. It was subtle, it was beautiful, it was effective. <laughs> that is your just Travis, well done, pal. Well done. I was watching your mum, who sat in the front row there, wiping the tears from her eyes. Very, very proud of expect? her boy. <laughs> well. yeah. uh, how did it feel? Um, you know, I, I was really nervous for this. I know I could have done better. I know it wasn't perfect, but... Don't, don't, don't you be hard on yourself. That was incredible. This process, guys, when I, when I auditioned, I was in a really bad place. My confidence was in the bin. I'd been going through some rough times, and I was ready to give all this up. And then the audience, you know, raised their voices, and then, and then... street dance from Wales with Notorious. We'll see you for that in just a few minutes.